Hi, and welcome. I'm Josh Spurlock, founder of My Counselor Online and a clinical training director here at My Counselor Online also. I'm here today with Dr. Jennifer Kanzen, and uh, we're excited to talk about a training that My Counselor Online is hosting on uh, Christian sex therapy. So I want to introduce Jennifer, allow her to tell you a little bit about who she is, her background, and then uh, we'll get into what you can expect uh, to get out of this training. So Jennifer, let us know a little bit about you. Well, I'm based here in gorgeous San Diego. Just got to walk on the beach yesterday. <laughs> I'm, <Huh>. have a, <laughs> I have a doctorate in, um, in psychology and marriage and family therapy out of Alliant University here in San Diego. And then I am a certified sex therapist with ABCST. And I'm a certified chemical dependency counselor. So my, I specialize in couples. I, people come to see me for whatever, but I specialize in couples. Um, I have those two areas of, you know, zeroed in focus on sex therapy and addiction. And um, yeah, I work with various different family systems models, experiential, quite a bit of EFT experiential attachment. Um, but I weave in all kinds of different pieces from behavioral and structural and yeah. So, and I have, I'm the director for the center for sexuality out here in San Diego. So I, I, well, I'm a professor at a couple of different universities, but I'm a director, um, for the center, which means that I provide trainings to those who are already therapists or who are becoming therapists, but they want to specialize in sexuality. And then I supervise them in the process of certification. Some people just come to do the trainings because they just want to get more skilled in this area. And other times people want to certify, specialize. So Love it. Uh, tell us a little bit about, you were sharing with me earlier, uh, just some of the, the, the faith integration work that you do. I think it's, really, um, it's hard to find uh, <laughs> mental health training, uh, let alone sex therapy training that really... Uh, takes into account and, and builds on the foundational idea that our bodies, our nervous system, our sexuality is God's design and that it uh, works uh, according to his design and to kind of have that be the starting place for our works. So what does that mean for you and how does that yeah. influence the, the training that you do? Yeah, well, and my master's and doctorate were at a secular university, so I had to fight, fight maybe isn't the best word, but I had to work really hard, sometimes I felt like a fight, really hard at just personally integrating, um, and so my, <laughs> the way I describe it, when I'm teaching, like, say, a marriage retreat, and there might be some squeamishness about this field of psychology because of the secular pieces, I describe how I was squeamish, I was scared. And especially with sexuality, the very first time I taught a lesson on sexuality, I spent a year to prepare for it. Um, <laughs> and I looked up literally every single scripture on sexuality and anything connected to it because I thought, I don't wanna mess, this is just too important to mess up. So to me personally and professionally, being well grounded biblically is really important to me. And you'll see that I have a couple of books out. One is The Art of Intimate Marriage. And um, it's got a whole chapter on what does the Bible say about sex? And and it honestly is even just tip of the iceberg <laughs> with that title. I think the reality is a lot of times, whether it's people in their personal lives or professionals who are doing the work, we often have not actually figured out our own belief systems and where they come from because that's going to influence how you respond to your clients. And then what do you do with those belief systems? If you've clarified them with clients who might have different belief systems, even within Christianity, there's going to be quite a bit of different thoughts on different parts that overlap with sexuality. So you have to do a lot of self therapist work and you have to do a lot of exploring your own belief systems. And then how do you integrate that with using spiritual resources, spiritual tools, how do you bring in scripture if you do, um, how to integrate those pieces literally in the practice in the room, as well as 
hey, go read this. So what I, what I do when I'm exploring belief systems with my clients, I not, I don't go over what are the scriptures you use? I say, go read my chapter. So it's kind of like, go read somebody's chapter on biblical stuff. Like you said, the body, not just, not just sexuality, but also the body. I'm mm -hmm. actually writing a book called the body, a biblical perspective. Oh, yeah. And so, because we just don't have good theology of sexuality and a good right. theology of the body, which borrowing from other large authors and speakers and teachers through the years you have to have that if you're going to do this work i think and oh. then you have to help your clients build some version of that so that their choices sexually go along with their value system yes i love it and to be able to have that framework for building a uh, sex therapy training is yeah. just fantastic i think it's so rare and hard to find out there <laughs> I, cried. I cried. I cried because I couldn't find it. And when I right. when I met Deborah Taylor at ISW, I literally I was on the phone with her and I was like, oh, because I was just so uh, glad to find them. So you I, mentioned uh ABCST earlier. Yeah. And for those that are watching this, don't know what that acronym is. That's the American Board of Christian Sex Therapists. Uh Jennifer is certified with the American Board of Christian Sex Therapists as a certified sex therapist. Myself, I'm certified with that board as well. And there and are- I'm a, And I'm an approved supervisor with them. Yeah. Approved supervisor, I'm an approved supervisor with yeah. them. And uh, you mentioned ISW, it's an Institute of Sexual Wholeness, which are friends of ours. We've had trainings for those. My sex therapy training is through that institute and uh, the, uh, work that we're doing in this particular training actually can meet some of the requirements for ABCST certification. Is that yes. right? Yes. Yes. So uh, there's a certain number of hours of coursework needed, supervision mm -hmm. needed, and the number of client hours needed to, it's a rigorous process of becoming certified. Mm -hmm. So um, I created so I'm the, uh, my center for sexuality is separate from ISW and ABCST, but what's mm -hmm. lovely is we work in some ways in tandem where they accept all of my trainings to go towards the requirements right. um, for certification. So, yep. Which is fantastic to have additional resources out there to be able to get trained in sex therapy. And uh, I would encourage folks that are feeling the draw to get more training in this area to look into ABCST and yep. look at kind of the different certification options. And uh, you may find that engaging in this training that you really uh, feel called to further get supervision and get development and continue on your training uh, to certification. The world needs more Christian sex oh, therapists. Goodness. And so my prayer is that, and I know Jennifer's is as well, that uh, you'll sign up for this training that yes. you'll get equipped to begin that journey and begin working with your clients, uh, but you'll be excited to continue on uh, your training as well. Jennifer, can you tell us a little bit for those that do sign up that are engaged in this course? We've got we got 16 trainings in total that we're going to do, uh, broken up into eight days. Uh, so uh, 16 four-hour trainings, uh, two a day, kind of spread out uh, across the um, you know, a few week period time. Uh, can you help folks know what is it that they can expect to get? What are they going to learn? What are they going to walk away with that they can use within their work with uh, couples and individuals? Just what's kind of the summary that folks can expect to get in this training? Yeah. So the, the main thing is to make sure that people are um, trained we're using that word quite a bit, qualified, um, competent to do the work with um, skill and with care. And so there's a number of different pieces that people will pick up from this. So you'll get the theoretical background. So it's, a, it's, a, they're, it's important to know where the field of sex therapy has been. You'll get the professional therapy course. You'll get, um, as well as, lots of history of the field. And then you'll also get the practicals of how to do assessment, different forms of assessment, um, 
And then what are the different ways to do, to pull in the different interventions? What are the specific issues with the DSM? So you've got, it's really important. Honestly, if you're gonna do sex therapy, you need to know your DSM well, and you need to know how to diagnose and then how to treat those different disorders, as well as paying attention to the social cultural aspects of intimacy and sexuality in the body. And so the whole time paying attention to you as the, um, the self of therapist, as you know, what are your own pieces involved in uh, your own backgrounds? So there's work on that through the whole piece. What are the ethics and the law around provision of this work? And then ultimately I teach my specific model. So I have the ICE model that's um, um, research-based and so there's one of the, one of the 16 is literally on my model. So there's all the way from theoretical, all the way to very, very practical hands-on um, throughout the process. I hope that answers your question. Love it. Yeah, it's great. The, my, when folks engage this training, they're going to come out on the other side of it, uh, ready to begin practicing under supervision, thing, right? That they, you know, there's, of course, in any uh, professional work, this nature supervision is is highly important. That a course alone isn't sufficient to develop proficiency in right. doing the work. That's important to have uh, supervision in the work that you're doing. But folks working through this training will come out on the other side in a place ready to start working around these issues of sexuality, uh, desire issues, arousal issues, pain disorders be yeah. equipped to have a to begin to work with these under supervision is that true yes i would say both the dsm that is specific to the sexual diagnoses as well as the different issues and problems that come up around sexuality like um sexual abuse like um sexual like sexual trauma and sexual abuse issues with sexual addiction. So those are all requirements for becoming a sex therapist. These other areas that aren't necessarily functioning oriented, but are people's lives around it, um, reproductive issues, problems with low, you know, discrepancy of desires. If people have medical disease, surgeries, chronic illness, chronic pain, if there's been betrayals in their relationship, actually all of that is also covered in the trainings. Love it, love it so much. And I love the attachment oriented, emotion focus kind of uh, theoretical framework that all of this gets couched in along with a biblical foundation. I'm super excited about the training. Glad that we've partnered with you and that you've partnered with us to make it available. And uh, I think that if you're watching this, you should sign up now because this is going to be training. Come join us. Equip, yeah, come join us. We, we're fun and we like to have a lot of fun. Okay. And we like to see you get equipped to be able to yes. uh, fulfill your calling in a way that you feel confident about and that empowers you to really bring transformation to people's lives. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video and hang out with Jennifer, Jennifer and I for a few minutes. I uh, hope that we see you in the, the upcoming training.